name is Gerald Wiggy. I'm the Bishop of the Evangelical Orthodox Church. I've been the pastor here at Holy Covenant Church in Saskatoon for oh, well over 30 years, and I have been uh, deeply involved with our work in Africa, which the Lord led us into. We've been thrilled at what we've been seeing uh, God doing in our midst and with uh, the efforts that we've put forward. In 1994, a horrible genocide hit the country of Rwanda. During that time, a guy by the name of Dennis Mugabe was in camp. He had been picked up by the United Nations as a smart young man. He brought him to Canada. He finished his studies in Montreal about the same time as the genocide ended. He was extremely worried about his family and went back to Rwanda, to Kigali, to look for his family, and it took him three months to find uh, those who were still with him. And during that three months, uh, as he walked the streets and drove uh, around the city, he uh, lost his heart to uh, Rwanda and to Kigali and realized that he would need to stay in the city and care for the many orphans and, and the poor that were as a result of the genocide. So he bought a house in the slums. Uh, it, it was a large property, but a very small house. And he started to uh, help people express their feelings about uh, the genocide and about what had happened by using art. And uh, he had them draw their feelings on paper and, and express them in writing. Uh, he began an art school that lasted some three to four years. And then the school transitioned into a primary school for orphans and uh, children whose parents were afflicted by the AIDS uh, disease. And the school grew and grew, and uh, Dennis's house uh, was expanded. Many small rooms were added. A number of concrete patios were put onto the house, and uh, he started to educate children. Uh, he would come to Canada six months of the year, do tree planting and jobs that uh, turned a good dollar for him, and then he would go back to Rwanda and uh, pay the school teachers that were teaching there and help his wife run the school, and then he'd come back to Canada and do the whole thing over again. We met Dennis two years ago, two and a half years ago. He was interested in orthodoxy, and he lived with us in our church here in Saskatoon for three months. Uh, we were taken by his heart and by his character. Through uh, God's leading, one of our men provided him with enough money that he need, needed not to come back to Canada to work. And so our churches uh, took on the support of the teachers and support of himself. As a result, we've had an ongoing relationship with them. Uh, I've been there three times. And, uh, I've seen uh, the students and uh, how they function. Uh, Dennis has put about a thousand students through his humble school. Uh, the school or the house is located in a slum area that is now scheduled for demolition. We have uh, purchased land and now we are asking for the help of people to build a school for Dennis that will serve as his headquarters not only for a school but for a church and for a seminary and Dennis will be able to expand the work of the Lord there in Kigali and and help people. Our appeal to you, if you're listening to this, is that you would help us to build a school so that these poor children can again attend school and, and be nurtured in education and spirituality. Right now, the situation in Rwanda is that, that there is not enough public schools for all the children, and many children don't go to school. So we would appeal to you to help us. Dennis will be very appreciative. Wherever they go, they talk about wanting to go to school, wanting to be educated. Uh, Dennis, in his uh, church building that he's renting right now, runs a seminary. And by seminary, he means not only a school concerning spirituality and uh, concerning the Bible and concerning uh, preparation for the clergy, but he also thinks about social sciences and about uh, just education in general. And it's the buzzword down there. They want to be educated. Uh, that's their goal, to receive an education. So this school that we're planning certainly plays into uh, Dennis's desire to educate people and to bring them to a new standard of knowledge.